I spent $400 through Sephora.com and a big box came in the mail. Inside the big box was another box wrapped in plastic and then another box. When I finally got the nesting egg of boxes open, I came up with this bad boy. This is the Dyson Supersonic. Hello. It feels like a Fisher Price toy. It is super lightweight. The nozzles that it comes with, magnet on which is also really unique and clever. It comes with a great diffuser attachment. It's got separate power and heat buttons, so you can have it on super high airflow, but have it on low heat. I took it to the salon on Saturday and used it on clients, and I didn't like where the buttons were for me using it on other people. I also knocked the magnetic nozzle off it a couple times and had to chase it across the salon, but I do love that it's a magnet. The way they get away with having it be lightweight is they put some of the technology down here. All right, let's fire it up. Whoa, that's a lot of airflow, which I'm a huge fan of. I don't like that my hand keeps slipping down to where this uh, air intake is down here at the bottom and I keep covering it. It's annoying and the way that I'm gonna fix that is I'm just gonna go to Target and pick. you can just pick up some of this foam wrap. So uh, Dyson, you're gonna need to put an anti-slip uh, grip on this handle for me. And so this is just like foam athletic tape from the first aid section. And I'm just gonna wrap it around the handle. So now it has an anti-slip grip right here. Comes with a very small silicone mat. This is way too small. I don't have time when I'm doing my hair and I'm sure many of you don't either, to take the time to line up your blow dryer on the little pad. While you're at Target picking up the anti uh, slip tape. You just pick up one of these OXO drying mats in the dish section, and now you have a giant mat. But it's a great way to protect your counter and to be able to put that down without having to aim it onto the this tiny little like. Is this a panty liner? So there's some electrical issues. About 20% of the times that I've been trying to start it, it's not starting for me. Pat not included with the Dyson dryer. He's normally super freaked out about blow dryers. And I have not done the Dyson test yet on my cat. I have on my dog though. Let's go to that. This is our, and we're gonna see if this freaks him out. Let's turn on the supersonic. <laughs> okay, so it does not pass the cat test. For all of you wondering about $400 being a lot for a blow dryer, you could pick up 30 of the Revlon frizz control from Target that retail for around $13, but you're gonna need all 30 to produce the airflow you're gonna get from one supersonic. My final supersonic verdict is wait six to eight months, let Dyson work the kinks out of this one. So that's the what's what. I'll see you next time when I give you another Briggs Eye View. Oh, it's not turning on now. I think it's going back. <laughs>